Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about marriage in Stardew Valley. So, even though most of us enjoy the grinding and the time management aspects of the game, we also care about the relationships. And the ultimate purpose associated with this mechanic is marriage. So, these are the things that you're going to need in order to get married in Stardew Valley. Number one, you need to be good friends with your love interest. And what I mean by that is you have to get to 10 hearts in order to get the option to pop the question. Now, if you don't know how to get 10 hearts, then I have a video right here that will show you how the relationship aspect of the game works. Once you get to around 8 hearts, you'll be able to purchase a bouquet. And this basically means that you are interested in being more than just friends. You want a committed relationship, right? So. Go to the store and scroll all the way down, get the bouquet and find your love interest. Now you'll also need a second tier house, because you can't expect to get married and force your partner to sleep with you in a twin mattress. And finally, you'll need a mermaid's pendant. Now this basically serves as an engagement ring within the game, and you can only obtain one from an old mariner's ghost with a severe affinity for rain. You can only find this guy on the beach during rainy days. And can I just say that I find it very interesting that the number of marriages in this town depends on the whims of a ghost? That's like the perfect excuse for someone with commitment issues, right? Like, uh, I mean, the ghost is, I mean, it's, it won't show up, I mean, I don't know, <laughs> right? Anyway, once you get married, uh, your love interest will move in with you and a new area will be added to your house. Your spouse will say new things and help you out on the farm and each marriage candidate has some unique dialogue so your experience will be slightly different depending on who you marry. At this point, two extra hearts will be unlocked and you'll be able to continue to improve your relationship with your spouse. And that is the point of patch 106. Before this patch, people were complaining that once they got married, their partner would lose all traits that were interesting in the first place. So much like in real life, before patch 1.6, your spouse would suddenly turn into a zombified husk, a mindless shadow of their former selves, spending days and nights staring into the ever-growing abyss between the two of you. A sack of meat, devoid of personality and emotion, cursed to remain in oblivion until that final gameplay session. After which, they would be able to fully embrace the endless leap in the darkness corners of your heart rate. But thankfully, Patch 1.6 addresses all these issues, so basically it infuses your spouse with personality, new behaviors and new dialogue options, so you don't have to worry about the inevitable demise. For now. <laughs> so, you're married now. The next tip is having children to increase the productivity of your father. Uh, I mean to have them carry on your legacy and stuff that we'll have to wait until next episode. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments and I will read them and maybe use them in a future video. Um, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, share it with your friends. Maybe consider, you know, hanging out, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.